I first arrived on Stanford's campus, I was surprised to find so many disposable plastic bottles being used on what is known as an environmentally friendly campus. What was our campus's environmental impact because of these bottles? Is this a significant enough issue on campus to bother addressing? And exactly how many disposable water bottles do we, as Stanford undergrads, use? We decided to find out. In a voluntary online survey, we asked Stanford undergrads this question. How many disposable plastic water bottles do you use in a typical week? As the 195 survey responses rolled in over the next two weeks, the answer became clear. Too many. Stanford undergraduates consume 952 plastic water bottles each day. That does not include other plastic bottles, like soda bottles or Gatorade bottles. Just water bottles. Now, perhaps this doesn't sound like too much of a problem to you. It's just water and some plastic, right? And hey, that plastic is recyclable too. However, when we look closer at the costs, both environmental and economic, involved in the creation of these bottles, 952 water bottles a day becomes a serious problem. Let's take a look. Here is a single, innocent-looking water bottle. It takes about three times that bottle's volume in water to create the bottle. Additionally, it takes approximately one-fourth of that bottle's volume in oil to produce the bottle. This is only production, and does not account for the fossil fuels needed to transport the bottle to the consumer. Let's apply that information to Stanford. Stanford undergrads use 952 water bottles a day. Doesn't quite look as innocent now, does it? That means we use 2,856 bottles worth of water daily just to quench our demand for water bottles, and 238 bottles worth of oil. And that is just one day. What does that mean for our planet? It means that we are adding 87.6 metric tons of carbon dioxide to our atmosphere each year just through our water bottle consumption. This is equivalent to the emissions from 18.2 passenger vehicles in a year, or the emissions produced in providing a dozen typical U.S. homes electricity for a year. To sequester this amount of carbon, we would have to grow 2,245 tree seedlings for 10 years. All of these emissions are causing major damage to our planet's climate system. As our greenhouse gas emissions increase, the rate at which the planet is warming increases as well. The 0.9 degrees Celsius warming since 1900 has already caused sea level rise, endangerment of species, and increased severity of tropical storms. Although no single storm can be attributed to climate change, such disasters as Superstorm Sandy and Typhoon Haiyan will become more likely as the global mean temperature increases. Such dangers are associated with carbon dioxide emissions, and as a campus, we choose to emit greenhouse gases due to our plastic water bottle usage. If there were a significant human benefit to using these water bottles, perhaps this contribution to climate change would be more reasonable. However, the cost to humans is huge too. Let's investigate the price difference between tap water and bottled water here in the San Francisco area. We'll assume that a typical half-liter bottle of water costs $1. Less than a cent per gallon if you buy from the tap. More than $7 if you buy bottled. That is over a 2,500-fold difference. And the funny thing is, about one-fourth of all bottled water is actually just bottled tap water. And furthermore, bottled water is less regulated and no safer than tap water. But doesn't bottled water come from picturesque island locations while tap water doesn't? Not necessarily. Let's take a look at the source of San Francisco's tap water supply, shall we? Not too shabby. Keeping in mind all of these reasons to reduce our water bottle waste, we decided to create an educational display encouraging students to transition from disposable water bottle usage to reusable bottles. In the course of one short week, we collected 952 bottles, hot gluing them together to form a pyramid even taller than Professor Divenbaugh. 
This pyramid, a visualization of the water bottle waste we create daily, was put on display in White Plaza during Big Game Week and was accompanied by facts about water bottle usage and environmental impacts of that usage. It also had a pledge. The pledge stated, I pledge to use only reusable water bottles rather than disposable bottles. In just three days, 72 signatures were collected, filling both poster boards provided for students to sign. Additionally, we created a Facebook page for students who wished to pledge to use reusable water bottles too, but did not have a chance to sign the poster board pledge. This page has 90 likes and counting. That means that a total of 162 people have pledged to stop using disposable plastic water bottles. Assuming that each of these pledgers are average Stanford undergrads, this will prevent 8,024 disposable water bottles from being consumed each year and about two metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions avoided annually. Stanford still has a long way to go, but with more students choosing to reuse, Cardinal is looking greener and greener every day. Thank you.